This week on the Sunday ride, I'm cycling from Muzaffarabad until Lahore in Pakistan, where I make my way out of the mountains. Technical issues come back at me, as well as some physical issues. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Good morning and welcome to a new week here from Muzaffarabad. I stayed here in Kashmir Hills Resort uh, for the past two days. Wonderful stay, really good hotel for not too much money. So if you ever find yourself in Muzaffarabad, go here. Great views over the city, good service, definitely recommend it. But what's more important is that I have to update you about my hub. Because last week I broke my hub as you've seen in the last episode. And uh, here in Muzaffarabad there are no real bike mechanics, so I had to take a bus back and forth to Islamabad to find a bike mechanic there. And I found one, unfortunately uh, he didn't have the right hub, so he ordered the right hub, so it seemed, from Lahore, the city I'm going to cycle to right now. But that hub turned out to be not the right hub, not the fitting hub. Uh, he ordered another one and also that one was not fitting anymore. So there were no options left and uh, right now the hub is still broken. Uh, I cannot get any new hub here in Pakistan probably. Maybe in Lahore but uh, they tried to get it from there and it didn't work. So I am a little bit afraid I'll have to cycle all the way to New Delhi to get a new hub there which is still 900 kilometers away. I'm really scared that it's not going to hold up but I'm just going to hope for the best, expect the worst. But first, I'm gonna get some breakfast and get on the way for a big climb. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Good, how are you? And after a quick breakfast and a short ride, I arrived here at the bridge over the river that marks the border between the district of Kashmir and district of KPK. And entering the district of KPK also marks the beginning of the very last climb of the Pakistani Himalayas. 1600 meters of elevation gain. I'm gonna miss the Himalayas, absolutely. I will see them again in Nepal. But for now, I have to say goodbye to them. What I'm not gonna miss is the anxious climbing with a broken hub, so let's get it over with. I just had lunch at a roadside restaurant and while I was having lunch, so he, a local man living in the UK, he joined me, he saw me on the road half an hour before and we met briefly. So he joined me for lunch with some of his family members and eventually he even took care of the bill. I, uh, I wanted to pay but he didn't let me so just showing the goodness of the Pakistani people. Good man. Now let's try to get to the top.
I arrived at the hotel and uh, for the last bit it became kind of a race against the clock. So I went up the hill as fast as possible, as you can probably tell by my sweat. <laughs> became a sweaty day, but that's alright. Uh, the hub survived the last real big climb, so that's good. Tomorrow it's going to be mainly descending and then onto the, the plain lands of uh, Pakistan. There are a few small climbs, but nothing to worry about. But it's still a long, long way to Lahore and New Delhi or wherever I can fix a new hub. So trying to nurse it there. For tonight, going to take some rest, go to bed early and wake up really early as well because I want to make it a long day and get as far as possible tomorrow. I stopped here on the side of the road to get to a supermarket and I got invited by Hossein over there. He uh, used to work in the States for a long time and we are enjoying a good cup of Pakistani tea right now together. mechanical problems I was riding on this uh, road here in the little towns and suddenly my left pedal doesn't turn anymore I think there's something wrong with the bearings it just won't turn and like this it's impossible to cycle uh, I don't know how to fix this I think I'm gonna use some force but if that doesn't work I have a big problem That seemed to work. Whew, one problem less. Right, I finally have made it out of the mountains. It took me all morning and half of the afternoon because the roads were just so bad. Very deep potholes, very bumpy. It looked more like a mountain bike trail at times than a real road. But hey, I made it. The bike has made it. The hub has made it. The pedal is still uh, sort of hanging on. And uh, right now I'm just getting as fast as I can to the main road, the GT road as they call it in uh, Pakistan. And from there on it's just 200 kilometers straight to Lahore. No navigation needed and hopefully progress can be better there. My pedal is getting worse and worse. Every kilometer or so is getting completely stuck and I have to stop. And uh, I have found a local man over there and he guided me to the nearest bicycle shop. So let's see if I can get some pedals, new pedals to get to Lahore. Right, so I found a temporary set of pedals. 
at a local shop here alongside the road and I put them on straight away so quick fix really happy about that but what was truly amazing is that another man who saw me on the side of the road he asked if everything was okay and I told him I need new pedals so he came to check up on me he walked into the shop paid for my pedals and he left within 10 seconds there was no way I was going to pay the pedals myself he didn't let me really truly <laughs> astonishing I'm amazed by the goodness of the Pakistani people wow Today I've been uh, feeling a little under the weather. Um, this morning I woke up with, uh, well, let's say it as it is, severe diarrhea. Yep, uh, it's just a matter of time in these countries. And uh, this was my turn, so it only got worse over the past few hours. Uh, my energy is completely drained. Uh, I feel nauseous. And I just had a stop for one and a half hour at a bakery trying to eat and drink as much as I can although it's kind of against my will because to be honest I don't feel like having anything right now but it helped a little bit I feel a little more energized and I have to keep pushing those pedals because I'm not even close to where I want to be today so man up continue and hopefully this evening or tomorrow I will feel better After a long and dreadful day, I finally arrived here in the hotel. It's been a very tough day, very challenging, and uh, it's been a real battle, but I arrived. Today I opted for some real luxury, because I felt my body really needed it, and it also needed a comfortable toilet, which is not always as easy to find in Pakistan. So, it's way out of budget, but you know, sometimes you just have to choose comfort and your health over money. So that's what I did today and uh, time to strengthen up and get ready for the last bit to level. I'm back on the road, but unfortunately I don't feel much better today. I feel very very nauseous today. I'm fighting not to puke. It's really bad, but time-wise I don't have the luxury to take a day off, so I'm fighting my way to Lahore. Luckily only a 75 or 80 kilometer flat ride, but given the circumstances, that's more than enough. Ooh. Come on, let's get there so I can get to bed. Next week, 
I cross the border into India and I attend the famous Wagga border ceremony. And also, I get to experience the true meaning of Murphy's Law again. But that's it for this week, and I'll see you in the next one. Hi there, thank you for watching this video up until the end and did you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe down there or click on my face right there. It really helps me a lot, so thank you. I would also like to remind you that I am making this trip in order to raise money to build a school in Africa. For more information or donations, click on the school right next to my face. And while you're at it, don't forget to follow me on social media as well. Links down in the description below. See you next week.